Since the invention of civilization, man has created an artificial environment in which to live. Part of the function of this urban environment is to separate us from the rest of nature and protect us from natural disasters, climate, and predators. However, nature is not easily thwarted and the laws of the jungle still apply. We may have escaped being eaten by a tiger, but the tiger has been replaced by other predators, the robber, street gang, and rapist. Though cities offer some protection from the natural disasters of droughts and floods, we are now subject to new man-made disasters of social upheaval, war, and tyranny. In his latest book, The Art of Urban Survival, author Stefan H. Verstappen offers simple and practical advice on how to prepare for and react to the many dangers of modern society by learning to recognize the behaviors of predators and the signs of impending turmoil. The author draws from psychology, anthropology, military strategy, martial arts, and wilderness survival to provide information on the full spectrum of urban survival skills. This book is divided into three sections. The first section, Surviving Predators, is a crime prevention and self-defense manual. It focuses on a broad range of subjects from defense against psychopaths to what to do if you are lost in a bad neighborhood. Other topics include how to overcome fear, how to tell when someone is lying, how to handle anger and aggression, how to deal with bad neighbors, and defense against stalkers, robbers, rapists, kidnappers, street gangs, home invasion, carjackers, child abductions, car accidents, police searches, and much more. This section also includes illustrated and practical empty-hand self-defense techniques suitable for women and children, how to employ commercial weapons, and how to improvise homemade weapons and basic combat strategies. Section 2, Surviving Natural Disasters, provides information on what to do if a natural disaster should occur in your city. Topics include how to create a disaster plan, how to assemble a home emergency kit, car emergency kit, three-day survival kit, and even a pocket survival kit. This section also teaches you what to do if you are lost, how to organize a search and rescue team to search for lost family and friends, and how to read the urban search and rescue symbols marked on the sides of buildings searched after a natural disaster. Section 3, Surviving Social Disasters, covers the signs and dangers of when societies break down. Topics include what to do during blackouts, riots, martial law, widespread corruption, and war includes how to prepare for and what to do during biological, chemical, and nuclear events. The final chapter covers how to escape incarceration and evade recapture as a last resort. This is not like so many other survival books that envision surviving in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, but rather deals with the common dangers you face every day living in the real world. With increasing incidents of war, terrorism, crime, and economic depression, this book is a vital and timely addition to your home library.